Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the installation of the DP5 GSI Android P DP5 GSI for our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. So, yes, the Android P DP5 or the Beta 4 got launched yesterday or day before yesterday, I don't know. But yes, the DP5 is quickly ported to many of the travel devices. I was going to make the video from the DP3 only, but my laptop got some issues about the motherboard and now it's fixed. So, yeah back to our videos and yeah let's start with android p now so yeah let's start with the installation so guys before starting with the installation let me tell you that this is a real android p dpi yeah dp4 dp5 beta 4 gsi for our redmi note 5 and it's not specific for our redmi note 5 it is a treble image and it booted on many of the devices but yeah you can boot it on your treble device like any travel device but it booted on almost like all of the xiaomi devices including redmi note 3 and redmi note 4 with those treble even if they have fake travel it booted got like that's great and we have some of the bugs like volte and some minor stuff but yeah it's great capable capable for daily usage if you are not using geo sim card especially if you have the indian redmi note 5 so yeah if you're not using any geo sim card you are like good to go also you have to load your own ringtones and sounds so you can just copy it from some other device whatever you like like or also you can use ios ringtones if you like okay never mind let's not talk about this small small stuff let's move to the installation directly so yeah let's move to the installation so guys let's start with the installation now for the android p dp5 beta 4 gsi on our xiaomi redmi note 5 or the redmi 5 plus so uh, you need a twrp treble recovery so if you have already it on your device no worries if you don't have you can see this installation video here and the i button or you can uh, okay so in that video i have just uh, like sent a download link don't download that one not on the one from the description just replace and the same method so now let's put into tdlrp recovery pressing the volume up and the power button until the mi logo pops up now go to the wipe option and wipe dial back system vendor data and cache so let it get wiped then go to install option and here you need to install the cardinal usb vendor so i recommend you to install the cardinal usb kernel too because if you are on a non treble rom it may have some booting issues so we also need a treble kernel so it's included in the rom so let the rom gets flashed after the rom gets installed just go back go to wipe again we just need the vendor here so system data and cache everything needs to get wiped the kernel is there now go to install you need to tap on install image and here is the pdp5 a only image just choose system image and swipe to confirm flash now wait for it to get uh, flashed completely so guys as you can see the image is completely flashed now just go to install again okay before that go to mount and you can see vendor partition just unmount it and again mount it go back go to install and then we have to flash this uh, four post GSI's flash them now go back flash the dp5 lag fix and the gcam dp5 fix dp4 fix so it works for the uh, dp5 as well and also you need to enable the camera to api so you just need to enable it after booting just root it and root it with magisk and then use the uh, what i say build prob editor and just enable it so yeah the rom will boot now so this is the mi logo so i will just wait for the google boot animation to come and then i will skip the part until the device boots So yeah, this is the Google boot animation and yeah, let's wait for the ROM to be booted completely. So guys, the device has been booted and it's Android P. So let's click this. Okay, okay, this shit messages. Uh, let's, okay, uh, this much brightness, brightness is good. 
and yes it's android p it's booters now this is how to install it on the redmi 5 plus and every other device has a different method of like flashes and other fixes and other things so you can just follow it on their other videos and i will also make a redmi note 5 pro video soon now to get the google play store access you need to install a specific G, uh, like Google Play services with GPS version so I have just a link in the description you can just easily install but to easily install the file manager need to work so uh, for that we need to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes and after that the file manager starts working or you can just like use this open it few times and yeah it will just start working after that so yeah I will tell you exactly how to do it so yeah let my file manager start working. so guys finally this file manager has opened and yeah you have to just use a show of uh, internal storage and then you have to install this uh, this google play store services continue install an update install just wait for it to get installed mm, installing and guys yes the google play services is installed it means it's updated now you can see the notifications will be stopped you have to uh, use a Wi-Fi uh, let's use a Wi-Fi uh, so okay I will just sign in into my Wi-Fi so guys as you can see I have signed into the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is working now just go to play store and you can sign in with your gmail account this is how you can install apps and yep this is a fully working android pgsi so let and it's done the google play has started working now you can install your favorite apps so mine will be the first telegram and yep it's oops something's wrong here telegram x and yes so i've started downloading apps yep if you want to install Android P DPI uh, DP5 GSI on your Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus, this is the correct method. And if you have any questions, you can ask them below in the comment section. Now, till then, uh, bye bye. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. And yep, I'll be making a full review of this too. So, yeah, this is a fully working one. And also, if you want to install uh, or cam G camera, you can just uh, use any G cam, it will work. And just enable the camera to API so that it will just open and work, or it will else force close. So, bye bye, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, enjoy Android P G S I. Bye bye.